Tears flowed freely as the remains of Mohammed Fawaimi, son of the foremost human rights activist Ghani, was buried in Ondo Town, Ondo State. Former Governor of Ondo State, Olusha Gumimiko, and the National Chairman of National Conscience Party, Tenko Yunusa, were present at the funeral. Ayodeji Murade, a report. After that, we'll have business news with Sarah Hayeku. Many people from all walks of life converge on the Fawaimi's compound in Ondo Township to bid farewell to a man they say was a true son of his father. Members of the civil society, where Muhammad belonged, came to pay their last respects. The officiating minister, Salmon, was laced with words of admonition and encouragement. Fawaimi is uh, it's an household name across Nigeria. They've made so many impact in this country. So I'm employing people, wherever you are listening to me now, to please, whatever position the Lord might have given to you, use it to do good. Thereafter, members of his family and others present move round this casket to pay their last respect. Some eminent Nigerians, including former Governor Lucia Gomimiko, paid glowing tribute to the disease. Old saying or adage says it's not how long, but how well. There's no question about the fact that Ghani Fahimi, um, Mu Fahimi, carved his own niche for himself. I will be remembered for a very, very long time. Compared to anybody that he knows that is associated yes, so with his family, the moment you meet Mohammed, he want to know you and he absorbs you. And then um, he has no discrimination. Idea at Fawaimi is the younger sister of Mohammed. Her tears were uncontrollable as she described her brother as a rare breed. He took the plight of the masses and carried it on his shoulders. And wherever anyone had any problems, he would always listen to, to the person. Has, he would always listen to the person. But he was later lowered into the grave in the presence of his family members and girls. <laughs> the late Mohammed Fawaimi bowed to the cold ants of death on August 11 through COVID-19 complications. Despite his disability occasioned by a road accident, Mohammed Fawaimi, just like his father, stood against injustice and spoke to the power that be. It is hope that members of the civil society will rise up to the occasion and continue with the struggle. Ayadeji Moradeo, TVC News, Ondo.